I, I, I make them so I feel inspired. But the, uh, the forms and the shapes come from more natural places like the shape of a fish or the shape of a bird. The intent is to make them last forever. Anthony Howe creates kinetic sculptures, moving, shifting with the wind. And it's here on Orcas Island with his wife and dog that these sculptures come to life. They start off as often just uh, something I can see in my head, which I then take uh, and try to sketch out, usually on a computer. They've, they've changed a lot over the years. Anthony started as a painter, but something wasn't quite right. I find that painting, for me, was so ambiguous. With a, with a kinetic sculpture, there's, there are a lot more limitations, and for, for whatever reason, that, was, that gave me f some kind of freedom. And I started using uh, the metal shelving that I was erecting as uh, office storage. So I began to use that metal to make things. Over time, he evolved from small things to very big things displayed in his yard, a private collection not many get to see. Can you kind of just tell me about a few of these, like what their names are? Oh, I don't if think you remember so. it, no? Okay. <laughs> I'll step in. Grid work, waterfall, waves, about face, razor tears. And I named it that because I had a very, very uh, painful eye condition at the time that it, it needed to be named. <laughs> So the, the motto of that is don't name your sculptures when you're in pain. In his studio, you'll find massive machines, smaller pieces when he needs a break, tools to bring his work to life. The metal is laser or plasma cut, stainless steel and aluminum to last indefinitely. I have some sculptures here that have been here for 25 years. His sculptures are all over the world. They've appeared in fashion shows, the Academy Awards, the 2016 Rio Olympics. How long do they take? They take a lifetime. Everyone wants to know how long did it take you to make this. Yeah. Um, and no one likes to say that. Um, if, if it takes too short a time, then people are upset. If it takes too long a time, you're not being honest. But I was told when, when, pe when people ask you that question, you're supposed to say it takes a lifetime because it's everything that you've been through. You're putting your life into that sculpture. Mm -hmm.